Hi, my name is Chantelle Rudant Hansen, um, and I work for the National Park Service at San Antonio Missions National Historical Park. I live in one of the largest cities in the United States, um, San Antonio, Texas, and I encounter air pollution everywhere. <laughs> um, as I drive to work, of course, the, the air pollution just from our, our car emissions, but there also, you know, oil and gas wells and other um, companies that are, you know, emitting pollutants into the air are a huge part. And so air pollution, unfortunately, is part of our daily lives. I didn't know that there were so many oil and gas wells throughout uh, really the area of San Antonio. As I drive around Texas and kind of what I think of as kind of the country going down the coast, I see many what I think are oil and gas wells all over, um, but I didn't realize there's so many close to the large urban city of San Antonio. So these air pollutants also really affect our health and um, not only, you know, we, we can say, oh, we're not breathing clean air, but what does that really mean and how does that affect us? And so this, of course, can cause respiratory issues, uh, things as, you know, what we might think are simple like coughing and sneezing, but can also lead to higher rates of asthma, which I think we've seen, um, and even more serious things like um, heart disease or heart attacks that, you know, have been linked to the pollutants in our air. Stricter regulations on air pollutants um, and things like oil and gas wells uh, will lead to healthier environments and communities, especially as all the oil and gas wells um, I saw on the map here around San Antonio. Just making simple changes like regulations and um, new things to kind of help be responsible about the, the pollutants that we put into our air will help will help us all. So as a soon-to-be mother and just thinking about our future and families all over the world, we have to do more to protect our future um, and, and our, our families.